Good morning, guys. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wearing the same thing I wore last night, because, you know, it's dated Jake's house, the huge. Firstly, I would like to wish my dear friend Asia Croson a very happy birthday because I can't be with her today and I miss her so much. I know many of you guys uh, who follow me on Snapchat or YouTube know who she is, um, my really awesome photographer friend in San Luis Obispo, so you guys should go wish her a happy birthday too. My drive and podcast listening and a nice coffee run will now commence and then I will start painting for the day. Literally every parking spot in the whole lot of the coffee shop was full, which is great. In case you guys are curious about the podcast I listen to, I rotate between She Percolates, Being Boss, and Make It Happen by Jenny Perk. They're all so good. Really recommend for anyone who's a creative entrepreneur interested in being one or like a business owner. And I will link to all of them in the blog post when I upload this video to my site. So I'm back home now, and as you guys know, I have been editing the pages for my zine, and I just periscoped about it to kind of show the behind the scenes. I have officially decided that the pre-order period will last until Thursday, so make sure you guys go to this link and check it out if you want to get it for $12 before it raises. later so i recently got into this comic called saga jake my boyfriend had it at his house and i ended up reading all four volumes of it which was like 28 issues <laughs> and i was kind of in the mood to like draw something inspired by the painting and it was my friend's birthday so which was yesterday i hope he's not watching this almost 100 percent positive he doesn't watch my snapchat or use snapchat Anyway, this is the piece I created, and I think I'm going to give him the original and probably keep a print of it. What I did do was print out a reference image, and I traced the pencil outline because drawing people is not my strong suit. So as you guys saw, I've been sketching some people and trying to practice. But for this, I did a little tracing, and then I did all the watercolor. And I was not into comics until like two weeks ago. So if you've never tried it before, I recommend this one. It's really, 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 really good. Next one I need to finish is Miss Marvel because I only got through a little bit of it. And I like didn't want to finish it because I wanted to save it. So yeah. Um, yeah. Started this deck earlier. I don't know how much I can talk about it because I don't know if the person follows me on Snapchat. So I'll have to ask. And then I could tell you about it. And I was painting out here in the living room. This was the reference image I was using on my light table, which was pretty cool. I just wanted to say I think it's totally cool to trace art as long as you're not going to sell it. And I'm not going to sell this, so be good. So I'm actually in the process of packing these original deck designs up into a box to send to California. I am having a gallery show at a restaurant there this month, so I'll tell you guys more about that, but for now, I'm getting them all packed up. I am laying in bed, reading comics. I probably should make it a rule not to Snapchat in bed, but, you know, 21st century. I've been thinking about something all night, which was the fan art um, comic painting that I did. And as an artist myself and having run into issues of people copying my artwork and sharing it online without credit, I'm sensitive. I'm sensitive to the issue and I believe that everyone should get their work credited fairly. So I hope that the comic painting I created can be seen as fan art. The artist of Saga is Fiona Staples 
and I mostly just made it so I could give it to someone who I knew would enjoy having a piece inspired by that comic. So I hope that that properly credits the artist and I am in, you know, good territory to share that watercolor. Does that make sense? I want to make sure everyone gets their work credited fairly, and I felt kind of guilty sharing the piece on social media, so I hope it's all good. And like, these comic artists are so talented, it blows me away. Like, this is a page from Gem and the Holograms, and like, how cute is that? All of that detail. It's unreal. And this artist's name is Sophie Campbell, and I was actually just reading about her in the editor's note, and now I want to go check out more of her work. I actually just went and made this page my iPhone background, so <laughs> that was fun. I was just reading an article on Refinery29 about how if you want to be more of a morning person, you shouldn't use computers or electronics at night. And obviously, I'm not doing a great job of that right now, but I'm thinking reading an hour before bed should be my new routine. I have this one. Well, I just finished this one, but I have Miss Marvel, this book I've been reading, and then the Georgia O'Keeffe book I bought. So that's the plan. I feel like I'm talking to myself at this point, being some crazy person awake at one in the morning talking to their phone. I am going to have quite the busy, eventful, errand-filled day tomorrow, so I should probably get some sleep. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I talk like this with my finger all the time. I probably don't do it on Snapchat, but I do it in real life. It's embarrassing. And I will have to tell you the story of why I talk like this in the future at some point. Or maybe Courtney can tell you because she finds it so funny. And the last thing I do now before I go to sleep is download my Snap story for the whole day so I can wake up and upload it to YouTube. So, so I'm going to do that. I never look at the camera. Hello. I probably just added like another 100 seconds to this Snapchat story. Anyway, sending you guys all the positive and creative vibes your way. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!